Hi, everyone. Welcome to our ninth community update meeting. My name is Julie Smith. I work at Great Falls Construction and Business Development and also closely uh, involved in the project at the Edge at Berwick. Thanks for joining us. So I'm going to just cruise through my slides. Uh, throughout the presentation, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Uh, the, my email address is on the screen, jasmith at greatfallsinc.com. Or alternatively, feel free to call the office anytime during business hours. The telephone number is right there, 207-839-2744. We also have a Facebook page, The Edge at Berwick. Feel free to like and follow us for updates uh, and private message me on there. I check it regularly. So today's agenda, we'll just uh, recap of our mission and objectives, our rough timeline and a draft plan. Should be a pretty quick update and I'll cruise through here. So our mission, I won't take the time uh, to read it, uh, but certainly feel free to pause your video to read here or tune into our previous listening sessions. Like I said, this is our ninth, so we've had eight others uh, prior to this, and they're all archived on the Berwick Community TV um, website on their YouTube channel, and I will give you a link at the end of the presentation. Our objectives as well, and I'm going to go through it in great detail, but they're right here. These are just what we've heard from the community. I've heard a lot from the community since purchasing the property back in October 2019. And uh, the larger the words are here, the more we've heard that feedback. So again, not going to read uh, item by item because in previous sessions we have uh, gone through the timeline in detail, but just looking back, like I said, we purchased the property October 31st, 2019. And since then I've hosted um, this is our ninth update session and a few listening sessions, as well as worked with the design team, which we'll cruise through to the next slide. Um, we worked with the design team to develop the site plan and uh, get to the point where we are today, which we feel really good about. And um, yeah, so I'll just keep uh, cruising through. We've also completed the duplex property at 27 School Street, if you haven't driven past recently. Um, so we've we are currently in right on the precipice of the permitting and planning board uh, phase of the project. And if you're not familiar with what that entails, I'll get into greater detail in the next couple slides here. But so we worked uh, we, in February, March, we've de demolished two of the existing three buildings. If you haven't driven by recently, uh, definitely take take a spin through um, to check out what's, what's been going on. But uh, so between April and June, we continue to clean up the demolition, which in my next slide I address since I've gotten a few questions about the cleanup. Um, and we've also uh, excuse me, submitted, and I need to pick up, our L-shape building renovation permit, um, which is ready for pickup. It's a really exciting process um, there. And we're also working on firming up the DEP. DEP stands for Department of Environmental Protections, so the DEP permitting uh, phase of the project for the full site. And I'll get into greater detail about what that permit entails and why I mentioned it explicitly. So moving just into a quick update on the demolition cleanup, got a lot of questions about what's going on on site. Why is there so much debris on site? So I just wanted to discuss uh, what it really takes to get that, that cleaned up. So we'll continue to work through the, the uh, planning and permitting stage of the project. We'll continue to work on cleanup there, picking away at the cleanup certainly takes a lot of effort to sort everything on site. As you know, and you're familiar with, there was quite a bit of building on that site. So demolishing that and really responsibly disposing of it does take time and coordination to, um, to sort and get it ready for pickup, schedule pickup and um, schedule where it's going off site uh, to be responsibly taken care of really does take some time. So this slide is just a visual representation of how much has been taken off the site already. So the equivalent of 16, 18 wheeler uh, loads of demolition debris has been responsibly disposed of off site. It's quite a few truckloads, if you ask me. That's approximately 740,000, 740,000 pounds of demolition debris that's already been shipped off the, shipped off the site uh, since the demolition at the end of March it really speaks to how heavy some of that material is and um, that just, takes time and it takes a lot of equipment and, um, and you know, a lot of effort to, to, to sort and get rid of. So that's approximately 250,000 pounds of debris each month since we've demoed 
Um, so we feel really great about that progress. It's a lot of, uh, represents a lot of hard work and we'll continue to pick away at that as we go through the planning and permitting phase of the project. Um, just a couple quick updates. Sorry, I see that the, my bottom bullet point isn't, um, isn't fully displaying on the screen, but I'll, I'll speak to it. So the 8,000 square foot, which former, former administration building, which was on the Sullivan Street side, has been completely sorted and it, we're working on uh, getting it scheduled for pickup soon here. The 60,000 square foot, which is the large, um, larger building that fronts on Wilson and, and um, next to the houses on school or behind the houses, excuse me, on school. That one's about a third of the way through um, being sorted. As you know, it was a massive building uh, and there were, you know, things inside the building. So just getting that uh, sorted and and ready for um, shipping off site is it in a monumental effort. So we have a teammate, Ron, on our team who's down there. I've heard the internet calling him Wally in his little um, machine there. So um, if you ever, you know, swing by, make sure you wave to Ron. He's working hard on site to uh, to get us sorted and ready to um, to ship off site. Any questions about the demolition cleanup and where we're at with it, or? what have you, please just call. Uh, we're always, you know, we're, we're busy working. Um, so I'm not always able to update on all the, you know, outlets, but certainly if you have any questions, the easiest way to get a hold of us is, is, is to call. And my contact information is at the end of the slide. So moving on from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the cleanup, uh, looking ahead. Uh, so today, like I said, we're at our ninth community update session. Uh, we are also working on, as I mentioned earlier, the DEP, Department of Environmental Protections, permit submission. Uh, in in mid-July, we're scheduled, the uh, civil, civil engineering team is working really hard to get that in. So that, for those that aren't familiar, and the DEP uh, permit that, we're, that we need is required for any construction that moves or disturbs three plus acres um, of land. So because of the size of this project, the size of the parcel, this is definitely falls underneath that. So we're working on getting that submission. It represents a, a huge amount of work um, on the design side of things and planning. So once we get that submitted, there is a six month wait period on that. So that is, um, we anticipate it to come back in January of 2022, but the DEP requires just about six months to review the permit submission. And this project, any project, development project, but this one in particular requires, you know, specific permitting and, and planning approvals. Um, and so those things take time and there's organizations that need to review what's, you know, what we're doing on site, such as the DEP. So those, those types of, you know, uh, permits are, and their review periods are really out of our hands. It's the organizations, um, you know, that need to review it will, will review it. And we, so we've given, they've given us, you know, they give you a rough estimate on, turnaround time and that's about a six month turnaround. So that's the longest lead time permit. There's other permits and the, of course the planning board process um, that take place. And so our plan is to hopefully have that running along a parallel course as we're waiting for that DEP permit to come back. Um, so in the meantime, we'll also be continuing to sort and pick away at cleanup uh, and disposal of the buildings on site, the demolished buildings on site. We'll also begin renovations on the existing L-shaped building. So the L-shaped building is, um, because it's an existing building, it, it runs a separate um, course for, for permitting. It just um, requires a building permit, which like I said, we, we have ready for pickup at Town Hall. So that's really exciting. And so that one you'll see uh, start to take shape and change uh, in the near future here. It'll be the first one to be renovated. Um, and so if you know anyone interested, any tenants interested, businesses interested, it will be a commercial only space. Um, please reach out to me. I have a great list and I've been having some good conversations with folks, but certainly if there's anyone else interested, there's there's some more space to be um, occupied. So my, my box in the top right-hand corner, what is the planning board? I've gotten some questions about um, what the planning board process is like. And so I encourage you to reach out, um, reach out to the town. It's a, it's a formal process. The planning board includes public hearings. So if you want to be involved in in this project, it's a great way to do so. And uh, James Bellissimo at the town, the town planner, is a great resource as well if you have any specific questions about it. But the website has a lot of information and I have a link at the end of my presentation to uh, to share that that can give you a great kind of summary. But in short, that's um, the planning board process will hope to, like I said, to uh, engage in it as we're waiting for the DEP permit to come back. So that's between that mid-July and uh, January 2022 date. 
Um, and you know, finally, there's countless you know, countless opportunities to be involved, for the public to be involved. Um, I encourage you to reach out directly to us um, if you have any questions or want to discuss anything, concerns. It's never too late. So just reach out, and the my telephone number is at the bottom of the screen there, and as well, uh, and it will be on the last slide as well. So as for our timeline, once we get our permits in hand, we'll hope to just get started on site. That's really, um, you know, always part of a development process is getting the permits and planning board approvals in, in place before you can move any anything new on site. So, um, so that's a critical piece to the puzzle and one of those kind of wait periods that are a little bit of our, out of our hands. But like I said, while we're waiting for those, um, you know, especially the DEP permit to come back, we'll be working on, um, you know, we'll be working on uh, finalizing our design and going through planning board, et cetera, et cetera. So um, our draft site plan hasn't changed since our last update in April. This is what it looks like. If it's hard to see, I encourage you to watch April's, um, April's presentation and the one prior to that uh, on the BCTV website as I go into great detail and zoom in and, and talk about building by building what the plan is. And so um, I, I won't bore you with doing that again, but certainly if you missed that or if you're interested in hearing what each of these buildings are, please clue into the last um, couple update sessions, which are located on the, the link that I will share momentarily, BCTV's website. Um, but in short, as you're looking at this, the gray is essentially um, street, roadways, vehicular access, um, as well as sidewalks um, that abut the, the roadways or parking areas. The circles are just landscape elements. They're, they're TBD on the exact, so they just show you some landscape elements. The white spaces that don't look like buildings are grass. Um, and yeah, the, the buildings are there outlined in, in darker, um, dark black. The grays on the bottom of, of the buildings are just, just indicate parking on the first level of the, the building. So I think that's all I want to share with that. But like I said, there's a lot more um, to discuss. It's just I've, I've done it a few times now. And so they're in the previous listening sessions that you can find, or excuse me, update sessions that you can find on BCTV's website. Finally, uh, just to wrap things up, so what, what can the community do to help move the project forward? Reach out with any questions, feedback, concerns, or tenant leads. And we're, we have a great list of interested tenants and uh, really excited about what what's coming uh, for Berwick. Nothing that I can publicly talk about yet, except for that we um, we do have a market on board to come down. I think um, I've announced that before, and I'm sure that there's a, there's a buzz around the community. It's really exciting, great addition to the downtown. And there's a few others that we're just about ready to to talk about, but just waiting for the final. Um, you know, approvals from, from the businesses themselves. So uh, I continue to remain engaged. We'll continue to host update sessions every two months, uh, like this one, throughout the duration of the project to keep the community informed. But if you have any questions in between those sessions, just reach out. Um, we're not hard to find and always, always happy and look forward to talking about the project. So, um, you know, if, if you don't hear from us um, within, the, within the two months and you're concerned or have questions, just call us. Um, that's the easiest way, quickest way to get in touch and get an update. Also, a good way to stay in touch is just follow or like the Facebook page if that's your thing. Um, the, the Edge at Berwick is the name of the page. If you if you like to communicate over Facebook, if you prefer that, um, please just communicate directly to, to the page. I won't see it if you don't send it directly um, to me. And the uh, the private message function works works quite well. Um, so if that's your preferred method of reaching out, feel free to do so. The next community update session will be announced whether it's virtual or in person in Facebook. We're excited to get back in person here um, as we're rounding, rounding the, the bend of change. So, um, so we'll, we'll announce that on Facebook. But as it nears, if you haven't heard, um, just call us and we'll, we'll look forward to, to, uh, to hearing from you. So the next community update session is scheduled for Wednesday, August 18th at 10 a.m. If you haven't um, seen these update sessions before, we alternate between the 6 p.m. time slot and the 10 a.m. time slot. So every other meeting is either at 6 p.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, and that's just so that um, it can accommodate varying schedules. But these are always recorded um, and you can see them after the fact. So that's um, on the BCTV website, which again, I'll share in a moment. So it, this is my contact information at the bottom, email and telephone number. Uh, keep it handy, call me anytime or email. 
Um, the easiest way is actually telephone. It's quicker for, for us to communicate. So, um, but certainly email is good as well. Finally, my contact again. So the, like I mentioned, uh, the past community update sessions are linked right there. They're on the Berwick Main Town website underneath um, Berwick Community TV tab. And you'll see a Great Falls Construction Community Updates, I think on the left hand navigation. And all of the listening and update sessions are there. So thanks so much, BCTV, for, for keeping the archive and for sending this out to the community. It's, it's much appreciated, a lot of hard work. We appreciate it. Um, and yeah, just to learn more about the planning board process, like I said, I linked this, this link here as well. Um, it's just on the Berwick Main um, Town website under planning board. And there's quite a few just quick hit um, details about the process there. But like I said, the, the town planning staff of the town, James uh, Bellissimo is a great resource as well. So that's all I have for sharing today. It's a quick update, but in short, we're really working on continuing to clean up the site. We're pushing really, really um, strong ahead to get to the permit submission, the DEP permit submission. It's a critical um, item and one that takes a significant amount of behind the scenes work. So that's that's exciting. Once that's in, uh, we, we really can't relax though because there's quite a few other uh, permits or planning planning board process that need, need to take place. So we'll look forward to entering that process once we have um, this DEP permit submission in. So reach out anytime with questions. Thanks so much for your support and your positivity around the project. And if you have any questions or concerns, we're, we're always available. So just reach right out um, directly. It's the best way to get the update you want uh, that you need or your you're looking for. So thanks so much. Um, thanks again to BCTV for all of your help and sharing and we really appreciate uh, the community support. Take care everyone.